everyone, it's the Witchy Stitchers. I'm Charlene. And I'm Morgan. Thank you for coming to us today on the, what is today? 18th. 18th. I don't even know what day it is. I uh, was reminded this morning, so the kids are pretty much done with school. Yeah. Morgan finished up last two weeks week. ago. Or no, yeah, two weeks ago. Two weeks oh, ago. She went in off. last week, cleaned out her locker. They did like a senior parade for her. She's a senior this year, by the way, for those of you who are, are new to our channel. Us. Thank you, by the way. Yes. My son, Dalton, um, he's an eighth grader. He, so I have had this email for two months, month and a half. Longer than locker, I had my stuff about yes. my stuff. So locker clean out is uh, May 20th. Got it. Know the time. Know what time I have to have him there. We can't go in, obviously, so he can go in and do his thing. May 20th, May 20th, May 20th, May 20th. <laughs> May 20th is a Thursday. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's a Wednesday. This is how... So I had the date. She right? had the day and the time right, just not the... But I, no, I had... Yeah, I had the date, but I didn't have the day yeah. right. Yeah. Anyway, for those of you who are subscribed to us, thank you for returning. We um, have got a lot to show you. This so, is going to be a long video, plus not, we have something at the end just for you guys. Yeah. We're not going to apologize for boring you. Um, there's a little bit of everything, minus I don't have any quilting today. I have not been quilting, um, but I have been making bags and I have been sewing clothes. She got two new pajama bottoms I actually yesterday. wore one last night, so it's dirty right now. Yeah. So but. they're flannel. She likes the flannel shorts. They're fluffy and soft. I have so much flannel left over from all the quilts that I've made over the years, but there's not enough to do anything, you know, like big. Yeah. But there's enough left to make shorts or like long, long shorts. Yeah, I'm actually wearing pants. a pair right now. They go down to my knees. Anyway, so not the flannel ones. No, no, my other ones. I These think... are like a, a blue chambray, and then I had some really pretty old, old lace yeah. that I found in Washington. And I sewed it around the bottom yeah. for like a, almost like a pinafore finish. It's really cute. When I stand, they're they're kind of baggy. I mean, they're, they're summer comfy. shorts, and it looks like a skirt at times. Yeah, and they're awesome. I love them. And it's so freaking hot today, anyway. Yeah. Well, for us, it's hot. It's yeah. 72 today. It's supposed to be 80. Well, no, actually, they're it's calling for the upwards of 90 in Denver today. Um, our record is 93, and there is a chance that we could beat it. And this is only mid-May, so, no. Yeah. No, thank you. I'm ready for snow. Yep. So, we will start off. So, like I said, I have been busy making a ton of bags. Um, I can't remember what I showed you guys the last time we were here. It's been two weeks. So, I will show you what I finished yesterday and last weekend. I think. Oh God, I can't remember. I can't remember either. So anyway, and I'm using up, and the ones that I'm keeping for myself, I'm using up a bunch of, of the old zippers, like ugly colors, because I don't care. So this one, and there's a story behind these fabrics. Patriotic, and then again, ugly zipper. Um, a really good friend of mine, hi Tracy, um, down in... Elizabeth. Elizabeth, Castle Rock, down yonder. She sent me, it's been a long time ago too, she sent me this huge box of patriotic fabric. And somehow or another it got moved downstairs and got put into another box that got put into another box that got put in like the back room in our basement. And I forgot all about it. And last weekend, I think it was we last weekend. We were looking weekend, for stuff for one of our projects. We were looking for some shelves that we had because Dalton wanted to redo his Lego displays in his room. He has and a ton of huge Legos that I can't hang up. I hang up a ton. One of these days I'll have to do. That would be that. cool. That would be fun. He has like probably a hundred on his ceiling at yeah. this point. And they all hang down. She took, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, really so he wanted to redo them when we were looking for the boards. Couldn't find them, but we did find some other stuff and this box of fabric was part of it. And I told Morgan, I said, I don't want white on the outside of my bags because it gets dirty so easy, but that would make a great liner. So, Speaking of I which, took, did that come out? It did. Yeah, it came out. I don't know what it was. So this is another one. And then I also had a friend ask me to make some masks for her mom and her sister. Hi, Miranda. <laughs> and um, 
she wanted them all patriotic. So I made masks and then I took my leftover and I made me some little bags. And like I told Morgan this morning, these are going to be perfect for my nail heels. They are they're perfect. Just, I mean, they're just, they're perfect. As I say, you have um, one over there. Nail heel. I mean, it's, well, it's perfect. Well, sideways, but yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. So anyway, so I got the bags. Um, I don't know if I showed, no, I didn't show one of those. And they're the same on the outside, and then, like I said, I used up this white. And I love this. It's even got, like, this stripe. I actually have enough of this that I could make her, um, like, a no-sleeve I have a thing for the no-sleeve blouse. blouse things, yeah. especially where I'm going to Kansas now. I'm going to so, need that. Yeah, I might make her one of them. So this is the one that I made for her. I made hers first. So last time we had our video, I showed you guys the Halloween bags that I had done. I think I actually have my And... Video. They were too small for our, the magazine that she had, the paper that she had. So this one is a little bit bigger and it's all scraps left over from Halloween quilts that I've done over the years. Here you go. And then, yeah, that was last time's. Yeah. With our cute and little so, zipper pulls. Yeah. Um, and then this is her thread bag. So this one is hers to match and then I took the leftover fabrics from that one and I made me another one and she didn't get no I didn't so, get the dog during your birds I the got birds. cats and or got pumpkins and owls and candy corn yeah. and then pumpkins and ghosts and then my bag is the angry birds yeah. And then I used some more of that orange. Earlier I, she was worried about, how am I going to tell these apart? And I'm like, well, one, I have a little strip down here yeah. of pumpkins. She has a big strip of it on yeah. her. So she's worrying for nothing. That's what I do. And then um, a good friend asked me to make her some masks for her and her husband and her sister and her sister's husband and for her son. And... I, you know, know that things are tight for him. And so I told her, I said, you know, don't worry about it. Well, about, what, three days, four days later, before I even got the masks. The mailbox to work. Yeah, I hadn't even got the masks mailed out. I got a gift card to Joanne's from her. So I took my gift card and I bought, so I have enough to do, and there's a story behind this fabric, but I'm not going to tell you what it is until I get it made and then I'll show you all at once. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make her and I each a matching bag. No, I don't have anything like that yet, but... She just likes the fabric. I love the fabric. And then this, you will see later on in the video. Is it upside down? Yep, it's, upside it's down. directional. It's Watch cacti. Thank you. And again, I'll show you later yep. on. There's stories behind all this. More Halloween projects because apparently we like Halloween. So I got enough of this to make her and I each a bag. This, I just love. I don't think this is directional. No, it's all over. So, and I love that purple. Yeah. So I got that one, and then of course you all know that I'm obsessed with chickens. And I found this one. So, and this one is going to go in conjunction. Let me find my pattern. So, We've part got of my... we over here. Yeah, we have piles. So part of my Mother's Day present was Morgan got me some patterns. And she didn't know about them. I either. didn't know about them. So, these were two of the patterns. So here's fabric for a project bag for those. And I also got a Yoda pattern that I picked up for Dalton and I can't find it. I don't know what I done with it. No, it wasn't Yoda. So, it was or um, not Yoda. A, um, TIE Fighter and TIE Fighter. Um, oh my and, gosh, and she printed it out. It's not lost or anything. It's just in the mini piles. Well, and if we have lost, I saw the email with the link on it, yeah. so we're good. So there are some. So there's fabric for both of the, the chicken and the chicken. And then you guys know that I have the mailbox. It's called Personally Yours. Mm -hmm. Morgan found this fabric with the stamps on it. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. I love this so much. So that's my project bag for that one. See, this is what happens when I get gift cards. I buy fun things. Yeah, you know who you are too. And uh, yes, you do. Um, I think she watches it. I think so. And then check this out. So there's like a yard, almost two yards here. First of all, everybody who knows me knows I love Snoopy. Second of all, I'm going to make, so the love projects that I have, 
like the anniversary ones and different like ones like that. Like her leopards and all that. I'm going to use this fabric. And then I was thinking, because I would love to have a purse at, how, or at Valentine's Day. Like We've been thinking about February. making her like holiday purses and like... So I have enough that I think I'm going to yeah. use the leftover for me a purse. And then last, so this won't get started until June. But there's a story behind this. So growing up, I had a dog. Her name was Dusty, and she was a miniature poodle. And we had cow dogs too, but she was like our house dog. And, well, one of many house dogs I had growing up. But I taught her how to ride in my basket on my bicycle. And she also knew how to ride ho a horse. And I'm not exaggerating. So I get on my horse, stick my, and I never rode with the saddle, I always rode bareback. I rode my horse everywhere. I rode him to the post office, rode him, I was always on my horse. You know, like most kids get grounded, they get their video games taken away, or they can't go see their friends. Well, I didn't have any friends, so my parents, if I got in trouble, would take my horse away from me. And that was like the worst punishment on the planet. <laughs> His name was Patches. Someday I will show you a picture of him. Anyway. He liked to drink Mountain Dew? He drank Mountain Dew and he ate pizza. He was the coolest <laughs> horse on the planet. So anyway, I could stick my foot out, and this little dog could jump on his leg, jump on my boot, come up my leg, and she would ride basically like where the saddle horn would be if it was a saddle, like right on his withers. Horse people will understand that. <laughs> basically at the base of his mane. And she would ride there and we would go everywhere. She was like this traversed dog. So anyway, she, like I said, she used to ride in my bicycle basket when I would ride my bike, which wasn't that often, but. So I found this cross stitch and I swear to you, that is dusty. That That is dusty. And apparently I'm a fat little bear. Who knew? She doesn't wear pink, though. I don't wear pink, but that is her. And this is in the World of Cross Stitching magazine. Um, uh, maybe issue 80? I don't know what it is. 290? I don't know. Anyway, I am going to start this one in June. So the reason I'm telling you that story, look at this fabric that I found. Is that not the cutest fabric on the whole planet? So I'm going to make me a project bag out of that, just for my desk. I love it. It's amazing. I'm easy to entertain. So that's what I have been doing with my sewing. That's why I haven't got any quilting done, because between making her some jammies and making project bags, I sincerely want to start selling them on Etsy. Yeah. I found an outlet in southern california i think is where it was i think it was i think it was right outside of san diego or was it texas no no it was i know it was california i just don't remember where anyway they have zippers and they have elastic the oh. notions pose trying to get in the trash sorry um, <laughs> but they're super super cheap like if you order over x amount like the ones that i just received i paid 15 cents a piece a piece so i'm using the bags that I'm making to practice to, to perfect my craft are for us, the old ugly ones. And then I'm using the good ones that I bought for the ones that I hope to sell. So. Honestly, her stuff is not ugly, though. She says it is, but it's not. Anyway, it needs perfected before I sell it. Whatever. So, I have talked enough about my bags and about my sewing. You, yeah, because she has got some gorgeous stuff to show you. So, I have been crazy busy, but last night, I hurt myself, so I can't be crazy busy right now. She was fixing the salad and cut the end of our thumb off. Yeah, I was cutting my tomatoes and it slipped. She cut a chunk out of the yeah. end of it. It's not that bad, but... It's right on the tip of it. Okay, I use my thumbs to open up my clasps and stuff. I don't use my needle nose pliers unless I have to. I'm anyway. for a child. Alright, All right, so I'm going to show this one first. So she has a twin to it, but we did not grab it because they, they are exactly the same. I have to show you my other oh, one Oh yes, first. that one needs to go first. So. Hello, focus, focus, hello. Focus. Tis a gun. It's a Calamity gun. Jane. And then. And it matches my bag yeah. so beautifully. So the beads on this one, I took some really pretty, I, they're like a deep, they almost look black with splotches on them and then some red beads. They match the bag perfectly. Yeah. So. I found that one. So I have Van Gogh in here. Yes, Van Gogh is my one. So, coffee. Coffee. Is it going to focus? No. Nope. Alright, so this says, um, but first, coffee. 
And ironically, so that she made it to put on my coffee bag, and it says, first, it's the heartstring samplers, first yeah. I drink the coffee, then, then I do I things. things. Perfect. And it has, it's just like the one I put on Frederick's bag. Coffee beans. Yeah. And then it has, I got, um, so I had the some of these. crystals. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where I found these, so I've just, this is all stuff from my stash. So these are gorgeous. I her, don't. her bead stash looks like my fabric stash. It's... I've yeah. been collecting for a few years if you haven't figured out. And if we out. go into Joann's and they've got them like buy one get one free, you know, you capitalize on these sales. Yeah. Because this stuff isn't cheap. And no. anybody who does this, zipper pulls you know. or jewelry, you know. You know, yeah. So this one's a hedgehog. Duh. So you guys know who this is going to go on. Are you guys going to focus? Isn't he so cute? I love him so much. And then I have... He actually can sit. He's really cute. So I took some wooden beads and then some more of those pretty crystalline ones and just put them together. It's going to go, um, excuse me, it's going to go on my hedgehog bag once uh, we get it made. This one's hers. Now, there are right now two, and she will explain what they go with in a second. Yeah. This dragonfly. So I did not bring that bag fabric in. Um, I'll show it hopefully next video. I've got it cut out. I just haven't sewn it up. Yeah. But it's going to go with that bag to go with the project that you'll see. Yeah. Charlie. So the beads match the. Uh, Isn't it gorgeous? Those. It's so pretty. I had so much fun with this. And if you guys follow us, okay. I've been bad. I haven't posted any of these on Instagram. Um, you haven't? I've been busy. <laughs> I will do that today. You tell me every day to post. I know. I remember to post my bracelets. I haven't done that yet today. So this is an example of do as I say, not as I do. Mm -hmm. I remember everything else. You're going to be a perfect teenage mom. Teenage... Te Never mind. Ignore her. You're going to be a perfect mom to a teenager. Do as I say, not as I do. That's what I do. Back. Yeah, sure. All right, so. I can't, I don't know words. All right, this fairy is being really She's far she's not ever going to have children. So I'll remind her of this video on this conversation in 15, 20 years when she has kids, you know. Yeah, whatever. Teenage kids. All right, so this is a fairy. So this one's for the hedgehog fairies. It's so cute. And then, you guys remember that necklace I showed you guys a long time ago? These are beads left over from it. Oh, that necklace. Yeah, that necklace. Oh, you made it for the watermelon. Mm -hmm. The watermelon shirt. That's what we Go back, it. I think it's five or six videos. It's My senior that. pictures are... It's, it was like last fall. Yeah, so go back to... Like maybe October? November or Se October. September, October? Go back to our fall Because wasn't snow on the ground yet. Yes, it was. We, was there? Anyway, I made her... We call it the watermelon shirt, but it was a green and pink plaid. Mm-hmm. And she called it the watermelon shirt because it reminded her of our grandpa. It is. And so... I forgot about that necklace. That one's... So that was my senior picture necklace. And I had earrings that went with it. Yeah. Um, those That's were left so over. So fairies, I always think of pink and turquoise and just Tinkerbell. Do you like the fairies? I do. All right. So then I made a music note one. That or it's travel gorgeous. club, not music Triple. note. Um, What's that one going to go on? I don't know yet. Um, I don't have a music note project bag yet. I don't have music yet. I, I have music fabric downstairs. It's yeah, got we have a, a ton of music stuff. It's got the, what is it got on it? A cello and a... Yeah, it's got string instruments on it. Piano and... I can't remember so, what yeah, else is on it. I don't know. It. It's a tan color. So... It's really pretty. This goes with the cactus. But we haven't showed him the cactus yet. The cactus fabric. Well, yeah. She has one exactly like it, but hers has all of these. So you see the bloodstone? That Hers is all of that. Mine has uh, tiger side with it because I didn't have enough of the uh, bloodstone. Let's see if I can find it. I put it in here for safekeeping. Yes. So, so that's hers. mine. And the pendants are the same. And you'll see why we're doing that in a minute. Mm -hmm. So because then I some, need it also. Somebody enabled us. They're a bad, bad person. I lost my rubber band. 
I hope the cat didn't steal it. Oh no. Okay, keep doing your stuff. I will look for my rubber band. Okay. I think it's underneath your stuff. Alright, so then I made a dolphin. I so. Which I just love. And then uh, a sea star. This thing is huge. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have made that into a necklace. Anyway, it's a sea star. And just pretty little beads. I messed, oh my gosh. I just realized that I messed up. Hmm. Oh. It's uniquely yours. It is. I've actually done that with a lot of these. I do a pattern of whatever, and then I'll realize that I messed up, and by the time I realize it's too late, it's like, I'm not redoing it, because it's a pain in the butt with that. I use a special wire, and it's a pain in the butt. All right, so this one's a little bit bigger. Isn't that gorgeous? But this was an entire uh, round or uh, string. It's supposed to be like a bracelet or a necklace. But we got so mom found these. And, and then, again, coupons. Yes. No, those were these were all one, on sale. Buy one get one half, half off, off or something like that. Yeah. I think because those are the ones was you on found. Sale. You found those at Michaels. Yeah, and then yeah. he was on sale too. This is actually real silver. So, you're so pretty. And like I said, she gets to decide what they go on. I don't care. I just make them. And I'm getting to that in a second. Alright. So, you know who you are. And you better be watching right now. Look up. Right now. This is yours. I'm sending this out sooner rather than later. It's got the wooden beads, just like the others. And it's got the gold in it. I don't know if I put gold on yours. I think I did silver on the others. Isn't that adorable? You know who you are. So I had a pin growing up, like a pin, you yeah. know, because I used to be obsessed and I still have this ridiculous collection. But I had a draft that looked exactly like this, exactly, and he was fuzzy. And I used to wear him all the time, like, I mean, I was little, mm -hmm. like a little girl. And then, of course, kept him in through the years. and. Wearing him as long as I did, I wore all the fuzz off of him. Oh no. But he looked just like that. Every time I think of you, you know who you are, I think of my giraffe pin and how special he was to me. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason why you hit a special place in our heart. So I hope that this one maybe can find its place to its home with its other friends. Yeah. So now, wrapping up these ones, and then I'm diving into the other mess I got into last night. I will sell these. I want to start selling not these. these. Not particular. these particular. These ones are ours. But moving forward. Moving forward. Yeah. Um, what I have is what I will sell. And then when things come back to normal, I will acquire more. Um, like, I have extra cactus, though, that I found. I, um, I think we're going to put them into the Etsy store yeah. that she and I have together. I have my novels there. For those of you that don't yeah. know, I am a and, published writer. Um, the, the, Slightly famous, not really. <laughs> we both are. <laughs> um, our Etsy page, the name is not The Witchy Stitches, though. It's Flights of Fancy S-N. Yeah. Capital S-N. Originally it was hers, and then when yeah. I started dabbling in my craft. Yeah. So go check it out. So, Flights, yeah. Flights of Fancy S is in Sam, N is in Nancy. And I'll put it on the... I'll just put in, like, what it is, and then just... Yeah. yeah. Um, we decided twelve dollars, and that includes shipping. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. And I will go international. I'm not against a little bit more for postage, but so show me your jewelry. All right, her so. jewelry is gorgeous. Let's get these. I parties. have jewelry. So you do. So we'll show yours first. So this was my necklace that a she made me. Punk dragonfly. Isn't he gorgeous? So pretty. And then. Steampunk elephants. I love elephants. Love and then elephants. there's actually an elephant pendant, and I've been looking for it. Like this? Yeah. It goes with these. Cool. And as soon as I can find them, or find them, I'm getting them. So she can have a set. And then I made a steampunk heart for. Oh, I didn't make them. I have the pin I put together. I put this together. I love steampunk stuff. That is gorgeous. I've been obsessed with it forever. Every time I see anything steampunk now, I Excuse think me. of that picture that we saw. It was a Hade. Oh, yeah. I, remember I can't that remember one. who was doing it. I can't remember who started it. I can't remember. 
Anyway, somebody was working. Oh, it was a 911 stitcher. Yeah, yeah, her. Stacy. Yeah. So it's got a clock in it. It's beautiful. It's stunning. She just restarted it, actually. Yeah, she did. So then I did a key. Now, I have a thing about one, keys, and two, quotes, and three, fun, random stuff like this. I'm weird. So. Unique. Yeah. Word's a, word's a bad word. So this one is, I don't know if you can read it, but it says, and only you hold the key. And then there's a key on it. And then this says life is a journey. And it has a little button on it, which I thought was just the cutest thing. So I made that one. I think it's fun. Like I said, I like this crazy stuff like that. And then, so, do you want to show them this one for me? Yeah. Because this is a set. So. So that's the necklace. And it's a little, um wheel and then I have a turtle and a crab earring now these all three came in a set and I thought they would make the cutest set and I have a thing for mismatching earrings you're about to see it so then everybody needs pricks on their ears because the world is full of pricks so I'm making her a set also I just did her city I'm cute yeah. Haven't got to it. Like I said, with this, it's a little bit harder, but I'm going to try today. If not, we'll stitch. Yeah, I need to stitch. I haven't stitched for a while. So then, I mentioned mismatching. These guys don't match, do they? An anchor and a shell? No, they don't match. But guess what? So they do. Fun. I made them match. I made a set. So they go together. And then a turtle and a seahorse. They don't match. I don't care. Tell me if I should care. So then I need to find some fabric that's sea related mm -hmm. and then make you a blouse and then you could put all three combinations with it. Mm -hmm. I have to get a third piercing to wear this one's all. Okay. This one's my favorite of all the earrings that she made. Well, minus my elephants. Yeah. But I love hearts. I collect hearts. Yeah. So I found these guys. Aren't those gorgeous? And I used um, rose quartz beads and just regular crystal beads. So pretty. And I have just been, okay. I found the zipper pulls. And I'm pretty sure I dove off the deep end into jewelry land. And I haven't gotten out. Because I haven't really even been stitching. Unless I so that's one quality that you have. I, I don't, it's not that I can't make jewelry. It's just, it's never piqued my interest. Yeah. Um, I like sewing yeah. better. You know, any kind of sewing as opposed to jewelry. She's got an awesome talent run with it so all right i need to pause this so we can start the next video oh okay i guess we'll, we'll be right back in a, in a second for you so now we can go on to stitching and haul and all sorts of fun stuff now that we got the other stuff out of the way <laughs> she's got some skittles so um oh hold on one second all right, so got my skittles, eh? Yeah, she got our skittles. The dishwasher was turning off, and we didn't want it to make noise yeah. while we were talking. So now we're gonna talk about our haul. So I had her dye some fabric for me, um, and I don't have the pattern here handy. Um, I, this is gonna be another one that I start um, either in June or July. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, but Paul. it's a it's kind of like a Nevermore. Um, yeah, but it's. Edgar Allan Poe with the crow, and there's like a cemetery gate, and it's just, it's really so It has a saying, and I can't remember, it's something about the key. Can't either, we'll have to remember it next time. So, anyway, yeah, this is the piece that up. she dyed, no, well, kinda. Anyway, very purple, gray, blue. So, there's actually, um, I dyed this purple, and then instead of putting the blue back in my jar, because I do an ice dye uh, thing, uh, we heard, uh, I didn't hear about it. Uh, Cravely Yours, uh, I got cat hair in my mouth, um, she told us about it, or not us, but she did her video, and so instead of doing that, I actually took some blue paint, and or dye, and painted it, like a canvas, and then I washed it out, and that's how you got the blue on that. It turned out really nice. And then this one started out, I hated it, and she washed it out, and done some bleach, and I had waved a wand over it, done a spell, danced a jig, I don't know. Anyway, it's going to be for one of the fairies, the Joan Elliott fairies that I'm going to start in July. I just haven't decided which one it's going to be yet. 
So that was the two pieces that yeah. she dyed for me. Um, my other uh, that's doll, actually a lie. She dyed that one that she just showed. She fixed it. And then our haul that we got, um, I can't even take it out of the thing. Anyway, it's a keepsake calendar 2021. There's and beautiful. I want to make like everything in here. Yeah, there's Seriously. a fish one scene in here that I'm going to make as soon as we... So, Halloween, um, the sea one, the flowers, I want to do the bear, I think the bear is really cute. Just everything in here is just... And Joan Elliott's new um, yeah, lady her... is in there too. Didn't care for that one too well. Um, one of the few times that I didn't care for... One of, I mean, it's beautiful. I just, I won't stitch it. Yeah, but it's so pretty. It's, it's gorgeous. And then, so, we didn't film for Mother's Day, because, you know, it's Mother's Day, and that was my day. Um, we had but, talked about doing it on Mother's Day, and then... But we didn't. So, Morgan had ordered me something for Mother's Day. She never knew about this. And I didn't. And part of my Mother's Day came in, and I started it for one of the mania, which I'll show you. But this came in last week. Last week. I have been wanting this pattern forever. In fact, the first time that I saw this pattern was Misty Purcell with Luminous Fiber Art, Arts. Fiber Arts. She showed it when we first started watching her. And then Christine. And then Christine with Stitch, Stitch All the, all the things. things. She showed that she was working on it. And I told Morgan, I'm like, I want that. I love this so much. So, guess what I got for Mother's Day? Away we ride. So I'm hoping to put this in with one of my June starts as well. Um, I have changed up my plans so much. So we'll see. So what's your haul? All right. So most of my haul is in bags. Like I've actually started most of them. I have one though. When I got her her other Mother's Day present, Make the chickens. roosters and the rooster and the chicken, I got myself a hedgehog. Isn't he adorable? We've decided. So, so this is an Etsy shop. Yeah. Um, everywhere I got these were all from Etsy. Yeah. So we've decided when I get my house after I get out of college that I'm going to have the hedgehog room and I'm going to have the fantasy room and I'm going to have the Halloween room because I'm obsessed with hedgehogs. So like she's going to have a miniature white house instead of the blue room or the gold room or the green room. She's going to have the hedgehog room and the fairy room. You know, a lot of people have that though. I mean, Priorities. It works. Priorities. So anyway, that was mine. The others are in... Um, That's all the haul you have? Well, I have that one. Oh, okay. All right. Well, do we want to do day for day with Mania? That's why I brought my calendar. Okay. All right. So now the stitching part starts. So if you stuck around with us this long, thanks for playing along, guys. Yeah. So I think I showed you the fourth what I was going to stitch. Yeah. So we filmed on May the 4th Be With You. Yes. Because um, I need to start Kylo Ren. You know what? And I didn't. Right I didn't bring the fourth. I put it back up. So anyway, on the fourth, I did Yoda. That was my plan. And I put 120 stitches into Yoda that day. So, what did you do on the fourth? All right, so on the fourth, I did Kylo Ren. And I had shouted to you guys, Kylo Ren and I are in a timeout. As in, he is in a timeout. Oh, I found Yoda. Okay, so she found Yoda. While well, she's you, pulling him you out. go ahead. I'll talk about him. Yeah. So, Kylo Ren and I... So I was going along, going along, going along, and then I noticed something wasn't adding up. And I realized that I was off five stitches. I had to rip out over 200 stitches that night. I was like, oh, hell no. She made new words, I learned. I put in the threads that I pulled out. Luckily, I didn't like break anything or anything while I was pulling out. So I pulled out, I restitched everything. He's still in the bag in my room. He's not coming out anytime soon. I'm mad at him still. She's mad at him. This relationship is off right now. So are you even gonna show him at all? He's in my room. I showed him last oh. week. Okay. So dirty what words. What they saw last week is what I had to rip out and redo. Oh, okay. So dirty words. I'm warning you now, leave the room, scurry along, close your eyes, whatever. Tell your children to leave, mute so, it, whatever. So this was my Yoda, or my, may the fourth be with you. I showed this to you guys before. 
and I put in 120 stitches. And he's really hard to see, but I got some of his outline oh, done yeah. in black, and then I got some of the words. So on my mania starts, they get at least 100 Excuse stitches me. because that goes in conjunction with the 100 day challenge that I'm doing. Yeah, and I actually remembered this. I didn't show this to you guys last oh. week, but I just did. This is actually a C star, but whatever. And then Tiger's Eye and Flower uh, Spacers. So yeah. that's another one of my yeah. fun bags. Okay, so. All right, so on what's the up? fifth. The fifth. So. I realized afterwards why I started this. So I started this on Cinco de Mayo. And oh, that's right. So, pricks. Zipper pull. Fabric. Not going to be going in that bag, but no. So I did this, and I've actually been forgetting to mention this, but a lot of my stuff's now on 18 count because I like to dabble. And we're, we were, we're running out of 14 count. We were. So... That's where I am. So that's a middle pot plant on the page I'm on. So I'm getting to a really good habit of just doing a page at a time. And it keeps me from getting into trouble. So I did two, oh god, um, about 500. Is that right? What is that? 204 plus 294. So you did 498. Yeah, so almost 500 stitches. Yeah. Most of that's in back stitch. Um, and then I forgot to mention, but I did 247 stitches on Kylo Ren. That I had to rip out. So what did you do? So I started, so I'm going to make a wall hanging. I'm going to quilt it that's um, in Halloween letters for our last name. And I can't show you, maybe I can if I like put it way back here. Yeah, that yeah. works. So that you works. see the end, and then there's like a hand coming out of the ground. Okay. And I'm putting it on this great big long chunk. So that was my end. And I started so I could work my way over to the other side. And like I said, this was on the 5th, and I did 127 stitches on it that day. So that's where I got to end. That was the 5th. Alright, sixth. Alright, sixth. Sorry, my box got messed up. Alright, I didn't start anything on the sixth. So, you're showing until the eighth. Oh, okay. So, on the sixth, I worked on the Primrose Egg. So, I don't know if I showed you guys this, but there's a whole collection of eggs. <coughs> They're um, stained glass eggs. And I finished this one earlier in the year and decided that I'm going to do all four of them and make it into a, like a bowl for Easter. Yeah. So on the 6th, I started the Primrose one and that's how much I got done. And it was 104 stitches that day. So I was happy with that. I, I really like those. They're a lot of fun. No backstitch, so you can just, you know, stitch away. They go really quick. They do. They go really fast. So then I also decided that I was going to do the um, Country Cottage, Country Cottage Needleworks houses, that's nice fast. right? For or in this case, well, um, but unlike so the. Uh, the heart and hand or hands on design I can never remember what it was anyway Kathy Haberman um, I made those into little quilted wall hangings mm -hmm. I want to put these into a frame just buy one frame and then change it out every month so on kind the of seventh, like Sarah the yeah, station mommy does exactly so this was on the seventh um, I did 111 stitches on this one, and I had a big old chunk of 18 count, which I never use. I started something in but this household. I had it, and it's like, well, screw it. Let's use it up and put it to use. So my 111 stitches 
basically the riff is what I got done. But that Which was my start. Which is what you'll see almost on all of these. Yep. So that was the seventh. So you said you had something on the eighth? I do. Okay. So the eighth was my last day of school. Oh, I forgot about that. So. I'm and I sad. keep getting corrected on this because I keep calling him Edward. Oh gosh. Apparently that's okay, not so his name. Ah, I just showed the pattern. I hope Ooh. nobody was lucky. Boy. Don't look. As they all look up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So here's Frederick. Um, I don't know what was wrong with me. I think it was because it was the last day of school and I just, I'm a tradition type of girl. And I didn't get the traditional end of school type thing, and so it kind of made me sad. And so I think I was just really depressed by this whole thing. But anyway, so one, I can't position stuff to save my soul. It was supposed to sit like this. I did it like this. Luckily, there's only an inch difference between the two, so it's not going to mess it yeah, up too it's not bad. Gonna matter. So anyway, this is the shelf. His paws go there. What am I doing? His paws go there. Thank you. His paw will go there, and then his head and whiskers are right there. Um, did you show the picture? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, I didn't... I got 322 stitches done on him. Did okay for a start. Yeah. And this black fabric is really unfriendly to the hand. It's a typical kit fabric. Yeah. It's... Which I've done kits before, so I I expected it, but I just was hoping it'd be a little bit more friendly. She had some really pretty dark fabric that it's just like butter. It's so soft. Yeah, it was what I did your cancer on. Yeah, okay. so what did you have on the 8th? So on the 8th, I did you for my name thing, mm -hmm. and that's how much I got done on that one. And again, I will hold it back here so YouTube doesn't spank me. Yeah, I don't feel like getting in help. No. So that's what I got done on that one, just the grays and the oranges. And I put in 103 into that one. And then, do we go ahead and do the ninth? Uh, ah! Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Zipper pulse hiding. On the ninth um, was the S. So let me put it back here. Uh, I didn't start anything on the ninth, so you're good to go. So, and... I got the bottom of the S, and then this is a mummy. Mm -hmm. It's so super I got the cute. Side of the mummy done over there, and I did 116 that day. Yes. How about on the tenth? So I mentioned I had some stuff in haul that I'd already started. I wasn't joking. We both do. So, the 10th was Mother's Day. I was supposed to start Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. My boyfriend's senior quote and her favorite quote. Instead, I started this. It's called Encounter, and it is a hate, and it is huge. I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. We've encountered dolphins. Mm -hmm. We some swam with them. Yeah, and I'm going to college because of a dolphin. I'm... I'm obsessed with dolphins. Let's leave it at that. Where'd it go? So. How many stitches did you get in? I got in 128. Wow. Good job. So that's where I'm at. Little itty bitty start. Um, is this on 25 count? Yes. Yeah, so this is on 25 count. I'm blind to the bat. <laughs> so my mother, one of my Mother's Day presents, this one actually got here on time. Yeah, this one, this is why we started it on Mother's Day. So, those of you who know me know this story, but I'll tell it again. So, I have always had a thing for dragonflies my whole life. And just before my dad passed away, he told me that if you ever see a butterfly, you ever see a dragonfly, it's me coming to see you. And it's always stuck. I even have ink of dragonflies of the kids' names love dragonflies. That's what these... My dad was also a very patriotic man and he had a thing about poppies because poppies are representative of the war as in World War II. He was born in 1920 so he was part of the greatest generation and so when I saw this I thought of him. 
And I actually had found this one for her. So that was my Mother's Day present and my Mother's Day start. You notice I've been finding a lot of paids for her lately. I did 25 count. We are dabbling do together. Bad. She actually did more stitches than I did. No, um, no, I only did 125. I only did a, Oh, I only did three more than her. Yeah. So, anyway, so I'm hoping. Um, Hi, Jinx. So on the 11th, I didn't have anything. So what did you do on the 11th? I can't quit crying. Okay. So go away. Pinterest is attacking me. <laughs> uh, she started February on the 10th, or not the 10th, the 11th. Let me give this to you so I can put this away. All right, so on the on February, so I can actually show it to you. So this is February. She just worked here on the um, windows, and this is also on 18 count. So, hey, my nails match. I actually did my nails. <laughs> So do you have that right side up? Yeah, I have it right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks funny in the picture. It does. I did 154 that day. Yeah. So I did really well that she day. She did. She did really good. Yeah. Alright, so I didn't start anything. So, you're probably noticing this right now. I am limiting myself, not because I want to, but because I'm getting ready to go to college. And I actually get to go to college on campus. And so, as of right this second, well, okay, I have my date for when I go out for marching band camp. So, oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Yeah, so, as of right now, unless plans change, yeah. So, on the 12th, are you ready for the 12th now? I am, I've got to find it. All right, oh, so I'll show mine. Me. You have to show yours. All right, so, Christine, <laughs> look what we got. We got him. So, we are actually, um, we're not following the directions. No, not that we ever do. So I dyed some fabric, and we're actually having to share threads right now. That's what we forgot to get. Yeah. Um, we're sharing because threads. Because English. Right. I dyed some fabric. I used up all of our tan, actually, for this. The tan red. Yeah, tan red dye. Yeah, and then we found some cocoa? Yeah. Some we're cocoa made right in Joanne's in... Joanne's open back up for you to actually go in two weeks ago. I don't remember what day it was. I've slept since then. Anyway, we needed some red. And again, so coupon. There it is. That gift is card. Just, Isn't that gorgeous? It's actually showing up right. It looks like the desert. It like does. sand. It's so beautiful. She did such a good job. Thank you. And yeah, she I did it on 18 it. count. This is, yeah. So look at this guy. He's so cute. He's so cute. Hello. So, I don't remember who this is. He's a little prick because size matters. So, this I can't remember is. What his name is. Let me look it who up. Is she? You should. I'll, I'll look it up. You... Alright, so she got a lot more done than I did because I, I didn't feel good that night when I was working on him. And I, Our allergies are kicking yeah, our ass. And, yeah. I don't have her name. So, look at this little guy. I'll have to go onto the page and look. Um, uh, Chloe? That doesn't sound right. No, but it's, where's the B? Oh no, okay, so she's the middle one right here. See here with the Bs? Yeah. So that's her. And so this is where I'm at. I have a thing about filling in faces, so you saw on the other cactus I did, I'm having a thing for cactus this time. I don't know. Um, I like to fill in, and it's kind of becoming a thing. It looks so dainty. It is. I no, compare it to her. So. Okay, so that's what I got done. So. And this is where I'm at. This face, I did part of the bee. I started on the flower, and then I did the brown that connects the part of the flower mm -hmm. up here. Mine's on 14 count oatmeal. Yeah, and mine's on 18 count white dyed tan. Yeah. So. I love her fabric, though. <laughs> I so, so I did 122 stitches on him, and this is where I say she did more, because she did do more. I did 184. Yeah. And we were watching Skinwalker Ranch, so... Secrets of Skinwalker Ranch. Yes, so we were slightly distracted. Right. So, that fabric that I showed you, and then I have some more fabric coming in the mail, but I can't tell... 
Don't worry, I have some stuff coming in the mail for her too that should be here today. So um, that's what the zipper pulls and the cactus fabric is for. Yeah. So, all right, what'd you do on the 13th? I started for Snickety. Isn't he adorable? So I so I wanted to get him for her for Valentine's Day, and I couldn't. And then when I finally was able to order him, he was out of stock. And then, then I finally house. ordered him, and I couldn't get any of the threads. The um, I can't remember. I think it's this, this color right here. Blue. It's this guy right here. We could not find it because usually I do most of my shopping through one, two, three. Could not get it, so I ended up getting it through Stitchery. No, I think Stony I ended Creek. up. No, I think was it Stony Creek? I was thinking. Yeah. It was Stony Creek. Okay, Stony Creek, and then it took, and I had to get black licorice from them too. Didn't yeah, I? and it's yeah. right here. It's it literally it doesn't have much variation. Yeah. It, I had the most beautiful color palette though. Yeah. <gasps> I don't want to roll. You're such a dork. This is why we can't have nice things. No, no. Try getting it off of there, So, though. she dyed this fabric. So, you guys remember, oh my gosh, earlier this year. It was a while ago. I dyed this fabric. And I didn't tell you guys what it was for, because I didn't have it yet. But this is that really pretty green that I dyed. And so, you have him. So, I did his chest and his feathers, his bow tie, and I'm starting on his head. Isn't he adorable? I so, love the way this fabric Yeah, I out. love this and it so just, it, it's perfect. I yeah. love it. So, yeah. That's very similar to what I want you to do that green for. Yeah, for the other Sorry, one. squirrel. And I did 332 stitches on him. Wow. I can't stop. Good. She had fun. I did. So on the 13th, I started Dog Lessons by Lizzie Kate. Um, I found out here, well, it's been a while back, that there's also a Cat Lessons. And because we are dog and cat people, now I'm going to have to go and get the cat one to start too. So, oh, see, I did it too. Great, now I'm not the only one. We're on a roll. So, there's dog lessons. Um, I did 133 stitches on this one. Had a hard time deciding on what to put this on. And I finally, I think this is a Belfast... Natural. I don't know. I know it's Belfast something. That's what I got done on that one. And it's all gentle arts and, or excuse me, weeks and classic color works. So, um, but that was my start, like I said, for the 13th for 133 stitches. Cool. Okay. Alrighty. Did you do anything so, on the 14th? I did. Right. So, the 14th was when I went to school and got all my stuff. Oh, that's right. And then I got some pictures taken, and then that night, they did a parade through the town we live in for all the seniors. So Dolce and I so jumped cool. to the back of the truck, and we had some signs. It was fun. Um, I got some of my friends. I got some of my boyfriend. I, I bawled. Tanked yeah. my anxiety. actually got physically ill because yeah. I was so upset. Because I just... Well, her two children are moving on to the next uh, part. So anyway, that night, so... Barring everything, so I woke up. You made she made burritos that day, so I actually got up for breakfast burritos. That is very yummy. They were very good. So I had that. I had to catch up with my bracelets. So then I went to school. Bracelets. Bracelets. I'm not wearing mine right now. I took them off for yesterday. Bracelets. Um. So I had to catch up with that, and then we went to the school, and then we got home, and then. Then you decided to dye fabric. And then I dyed some fabric. And then we were doing project bags. <clears throat> and then I went to the parade. So now it's almost 9 o'clock at night. Did we do project bags that day? Yeah, we did. Or maybe I did pulls. I don't know what I did, but let's put it this way. I didn't start stitching until 9 o'clock that night. It was late. Yeah. So I did Hogwarts. So that was my graduation day. Now I have my new graduation day. So I could have waited, but May was when I was supposed to graduate. So I started now. <laughs> Um, all of that just for this project. So I started Hogwarts. And she um, dyed this This fabric. is um, actually some that I dyed. So this is part of the reason why I had to wait. Now which way does this go? Is that the end? No, this is the cursive in Gryffindor. Yeah, the end. And the eye, yeah. 
So I use that color number. <laughs> we don't say that color number. Um, it starts with a six. You can do the rest. Anyway, it's that really pretty Christmas red. I like the color. I hate the number. And then uh, I dyed this. This is charcoal gray. She used the last of our black rip. No, charcoal gray rip. Charcoal gray rip. Oh, okay. And um, I was hoping for darker, but I actually really like this. I think it's gorgeous. I think it, it almost looks like fluorescent against it. It does. Well, and, okay. It actually reminds me of the stones in Hogwarts. Yeah. I mean, it's a castle. So how many stitches you get in? Um, so I only did 114. Hence, nine o'clock at night. Oh. I wasn't in the mixed stitch. Okay. So on the 14th, I started Hearts of the Kingdom, which I bought this last summer when we took went out to Kansas to visit the KU campus. And there's this cute little shop. I don't even know what the name of it is. Anyway, there's this little shop right across the street from the restaurant where we ate. And she got that one I got summer. Got this one. I love it. I just think it's so pretty. And so she dyed me some fabric. No, the story behind this one's hilarious. So, when she dyed it, it was really, really dark. It was like, bright pink. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I want almost a blush color Which? with some splashes of green in it. So she done the thing she done. She dyed it. She I zapped it with the bleach, it. and then she took her paintbrush and took some green. I flicked and, it at first, so you yeah. have some splotches of green, and then I painted it. And you can't. It's not even you can kind of see some right here. This is where some drops landed. Yeah. And I just painted it. I really... And that's how much I got done yeah. on it. And I ended up with, which this is, so I worked on yeah. basically this over in here. And I ended up with, I only did 103. Because it's kind of the same thing. You know, we didn't start stitching until that evening. Um, and we were watching, what was the 14th? That was Thursday. We were, we were the watching. guys were watching a, a, a space movie. Was that the night we watched Cowboys and Aliens? No, that wasn't that night. That was. Uh, I don't know what we watched. That was the fifteenth because I didn't do anything on the fifteenth because I was kind of distracted on the fifteenth. So you don't have anything for the for the fifteenth? Nope. Okay, so on the fifteenth I made my second hey. S for my. And actually, that's as far as I've gotten. So I'll show it to you if you would, Vanna, please. So this was the second S, and I got the round part of the S here, and then got, you can't really see it, but got the white part of the mummy done here. Today, I will start the E, which comes next. Um, that's my start for today, and I'm so excited. It has a spider. It's so cute. I love it. Yeah. And then the R, which I will do sometime later on, and has a big old pumpkin. And the cool thing about all this, so you put it all together. So I'll show you. So it's upside down. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Sorry. So when you put them all together, so N U S S E R. So the N and the R have turquoise in the N or and in gray. the letters. The U and the E. e have orange and the two S's have purple. It's so really cool. It's just so cool the way it turned out. And all of them will be different, of course, other than the two mummies, which are appropriate because that's Preston and I. So, anyway, we thought that was kind of fun. Yeah. So, that was my stitching on the 15th, and I finished that day with 110 stitches on that and my goal is to have that one done so I can hang it up on the wall for um, Halloween for Halloween decoration and then the 16th did you do the 16th yes, it did. yes you did oh this is so all right gorgeous. so I had a gorgeous. heck of a time getting this fabric hold on one second so I had a lot of trouble making this fabric so I don't I this is supposed to be on Y Ada uh-uh. Not for a project like this. So, I'll just show you the top. This is the original piece that she dyed for it. And that's oatmeal. See how light? I mean, it, oh, it's not even showing up true. No, it's super, it's a beautiful piece. So she ended up giving this one to me for yeah. a project she that I'm going to do in June. So, so she did another I one. did this one. Now, is this a, is the most beautiful thing on the planet. 
and they're both beautiful pieces, don't get me wrong. I was wanting something darker though, and hence the reason why I changed some colors. I don't like pink. I haven't liked pink for a while now. This was originally pink and blue. So I changed the plain pink. Pink. The dark pink is 550 and the light pink is 553 now. So they're purples. Blue and purple are two of my favorite colors. So you have that now. You have that image in your head. You have the fabric, etc., etc., etc. I did this while we were watching Mysteries of the Abandoned. So I've got the cauldron, I've got the smoke. This is going to go up really fast. I'll probably put it into a challenge next month and then yeah. That's one for her, one of her new Halloween bags. Yeah. And um, one of my friends actually commented that they really like this and yeah, it is awesome. And purple is honestly like the best. So I did, um, oh I didn't write, oh yeah I did, 270 stitches. So I don't have anything to start now until the 21st. Okay. So on the 16th, I started, sorry for the glare, the March Country Cottage. And so I got part of the house and then the lines in the middle. And I did 144 on this one. I essentially did the, the green and the pink until I ran out of threads. Yeah. Um, no specialty thread started on that one. In fact, it's only got one specialty thread, and you use it for the board or the Shingles. yard border, and then no, the roof. Oh, yeah. And then yesterday, I started the pansy egg, which is out of the same, same series. Same series. So you do this without spilling my threads. So that one up there, I love, love pansies. These. My dad always called them monkey faces. Like so got that much done on that one, and I did 112 on that one. So like I said earlier, today I will start the E um, in our name, and my mania plans will continue as such. Um, I will finish up, so I've got obviously April through December for the Country Cottage Needleworks. I have the R, the E and the R in our last name, and I have the last stained glass, um, which is the daffodils, and then on the 28th I'm doing a stitch along start, so I incorporated her into Mania, of the, um, Joan Elliott, um, so I'm going to be starting the Ladybug Fairy, and then somewhere in between all that, I am starting, I cannot, I think it's called Pretty Pumpkins, but it's by Glendon Place. It's beautiful. Um, I showed it, yeah, the latter part, not the last, the last video or the video before. Anyway, I showed it in there. Well, we showed all you'll, mania plans. Yeah, and so you'll see it again um, when I bring it out. So yes. that's what I'm going to wrap up the end of Mania. They're mostly small starts, but that's what I wanted to do so I could have small starts with all of my great big starts or great big projects that I've got going on. So I'm starting, I have two more starts for this month, unless I decide to start more. So I told you guys at the beginning of the month I was going to do 10 starts. I'm up to 13. So, um, I talked her into doing more yeah. with me. And I couldn't resist. I found some patterns. I had some others. I dyed some fabric. I I can't say no to stitching. Okay. Hey, dude, stop it. Um, so I'm going to start Cute Bunny, which is um, in the same series as the Hedgehog I did. So either today or tomorrow, I'm diving into her uh, Fancy Floss stash because it doesn't have a key. It's just... Like colorway. Yeah, whatever you want. So I have what color, I know what I want to do, I'm just needing, dude, stop! I was over here trying to attack my shorts. Um, and then I'm starting the uh, black work whale, which will be variegated also. Yeah. So, yeah. Is that Whips. what you're finishing up with? Yeah, yeah. that's the Whips. last one. Which, so, yeah. I had, um, 
Let's see, what all have I worked on? So today, and I've put about 150 stitches into this one so far today. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. This is my, um, no, she doesn't have corona, it's called allergies. <laughs> I so woke up with a headache this morning. <laughs> this is my, um, oh my gosh, words, Milhelmania today. Yeah. And I'm such a dumbass. I left myself. You do that I'm every time. So I'm at a point where I need to get some beating done. So, so she's going to be creating hear, the news cuss words. If you hear curse words today, it's me because I'm doing the beating. Because Kylo's still in timeout. Because Kylo's still in the timeout. I love him, so, but he's in timeout. So that's, oh, excuse me, what I'm working on today. I gave her my yellow. I know, you gave me your nose. Um, so this one showed up in Whipgo and in, um, oh gosh, 24 hour. Acrostic. Across, excuse me. So this is Ghostly Mandala. Mandala's Ink Circles. I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with this one yet. Um, oh, I gotta pop the hoop off. Hang on. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it for us or if I'm going to give it away. I'm still. Oh my God, cat! What is with you? Last time it was Pearl, and now it's this one. All right. Well, don't let him be aggravating. It's her. So that's where I'm at. I don't know how many stitches I've gotten in so far. I don't have my paper here handy. I think I've put in, I want to say you. 800 and something is what I've put in so yeah. far, but I can't remember. I'm working, maybe not. I can't remember, guys. Sorry. I didn't bring that notebook. But I'm working up okay. in here and going to carry up and then try and fill in this hole here as I go. So even our dog has allergies. Even our dog has allergies. Um, my next whip, so I've got to finish that one for the challenge. My next whip that I have You can is, tell she's been doing more than I have. Um, this one is Snoopy, called please stop. Super Dad. And this one, so that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. And it's out of Press District from 1989. And I don't remember how much I've put into this one. I put in quite a bit. This one might be the one that I've got 800 and something in. I'll have you hold I don't know. Side. This is the one she copied dyed with cinnamon and vanilla. Yeah. So I put in some red too. and put in some work on the A and then come up here on the D. Um, and this one is just in acrostic. Yeah, just an acrostic. And I have it in my Jimbo Bronco bag because it's for Preston and of course, we're football nerds. Anybody who knows this knows that. Um, yeah, we're really upset that we don't get to watch football games. It's going to be interesting to see what the fall brings, that's for sure. Um, this one was in 24 hours. Yeah, 24 hour acrostic. Um, I finished She's up so my challenge. She's so close to having it finished. So I had to hold it. So I have the words from here up. I have this part of the top and it mirrors it so it's the same and then come down here and then I have all of this beadwork right here and then all of this beadwork across. Now here's the conundrum. The lady that I'm making this for, her birthday is June 8th. My goal is to finish up my challenges. So I have to finish my stitches on Ghostly Mandala, Super Dad, Starry Night I'm getting ready to show you. Next Monday I'll have my next, my last uh, meal hail challenge. I will have all of my challenges done for my goals for the month. As soon as I get everything done minus the meal hail, which obviously isn't until next Monday, I'm going to do nothing but work on this one. I want to have it done and framed, and I do all my own framing. Um, so I can put this in the mail in time for her birthday on the 8th. That's what we forgot. What did we forgot? Our pictures. We have something awesome to show you in our next video. We've irritated you guys long enough. Uh -huh. um, let's see. The Mill Hill Challenge for last week, yep. was it? Yeah. For last, last week. week. Oops. So was Paisley Pumpkin. 
I thought you already showed this one. No, this is the one I done last week. So this was the 11th. Okay. Today is the 18th, yes. So that's how far I got on this one. Um, or maybe this one was the fourth and the... I'm pretty sure she showed this to you guys already. Well, or that I was working on it. I don't know how to put it in there. Maybe I think this you've already shown this one. You've already showed this one. Did I show this one on the fourth? Yeah. Blue house? Yeah. Okay. So the last one that I have to do for the month will be um, the Peak of the Pumpkin. And I will work on him next Monday because it's the last draw of the month. So I will have my stitches in probably before we come to see you the next time. Um, I'm really excited because next month there's five Mondays, so I get to work on my white pumpkins again. Did you ever get this thread for that? Yes, I did. It finally came in. Um, and then the grand finale, the man of the hour. And I think I'm going to have to pop, yep, I'm going to pop the hoop off on this one. So last night I finished Jesse's, um, Gosley Mandela is in Whipco too, by the way. Yeah, you said that. Um, so last night I finished off the Whipco challenge for Starry Night. I still have not or just a little over a hundred stitches left to put into this for 24 hour because I picked 1,200 for it. So I got all of this down in here done. Um, this end right here is the end of page five. five there's a ridiculous amount of black and that's what I've been doing is so I'll pick up black and I'll do a strand of it and then I'll pick up and I'll work on some of the confetti so you can see that this stuff right in here is mostly the confetti so I have to take this page six in and get it blown up which um, we actually I had to blow up Kyla Randall so yeah that's part of the reason why he's still on timeout along with the fact that I'm still mad at him yeah so I'm hoping that maybe next weekend or the following weekend I can get into a, like an Office Max office. And they're open too now, so we can go oh, in. Yeah, open yeah I saw a okay. sign, and I also saw it on their webpage because I got on. Yeah. So that's my plans moving forward, is to finish up my challenges and then to solely concentrate on cancer. Because I want to make sure that my, my friend has it in time for her birthday in June. So, yeah. I've yapped on all, all right. enough. So I haven't shown you guys this guy, and I have to take my sticky note off. I'm sharing a thread between my other project, that's my plants. I didn't bring it because you guys have already seen it this month. But um, I'm working on the hedgehog fairy, so him. So cute. And um, I love him. He's adorable. I'm working on the uh, pink dressed fairy right now. Have you shown up that bag? You have, haven't you? Did I finish it since our last video? I don't know, but I'll show it to you guys really quick. This is... Yeah, I think we did because we talked about the fairies. Yeah. So these are panels. Yeah. So six on one side. Bless you. Bless you. Six on the other. And then this was a dress... No, maybe a blouse. I don't know. This was an outfit of mine when I was younger. It wasn't a dress. I think it was a blouse. And then... Come here. And this is my... I actually keep my, I actually have everything in here right now, but my zipper doesn't even have chapstick in there. My phone just freaked out on me. Anyway, so that's the inside of it. Um, so I'm going to hurry up and talk because I'm running out of storage. So this is where I'm at. This is on 14 count. Um, Isn't she beautiful? I finished her face last night and I'm working on her arm right now. <laughs> Um, this is for a challenge for Whipgo and uh, Acrostic, and I'm going to be working on it today. So, I'm going to work on Jack and Sally after this. They're both in, in Whipgo. And then, yeah. So, so thanks for sticking around for over an hour. Yeah. I might miss irritate you. Um, sorry to be so long-winded. We had a lot more stuff than we realized. Yeah. Um, I don't know when we'll be back to see you. We'll shoot for... The first of June, Monday seemed to work well, but I don't know. Whatever we'll be we back feel when like. we get back. Yep, when we have time. And um, we got nine new fish. That's nine? No, six. We got six seven. new fish. Seven. seven. Anyway, 
because our tank was gross and disgusting. And he ate a... We so totally we got some bottom got feeders. Got... Yeah, he, he's like a little sucker fish. He hasn't left the spot he's been in. I thought he was dead, and I tapped him. He like, came off, and he looked he, like, can fish glare? Because I think he glared at me. They're, they're very judgy fish. He is judgy. So, anyway, anyway, that was our acquisition this week. So we have bottom feeders. Other than that, is that I think that's news? it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Take care. Be kind. Be safe. Yes. And thank you for coming back and visiting with us. And we will see you in a couple weeks. Bye. Bye.